So we're going to talk to you today about the latest boot in the Easy Care boot lineup, and that is the Easy Boot Glove Backcountry. And what's exciting about this boot is it really is a hybrid. It contains the best of what we think are the finest boots in our product lineup. It has the base of the Easy Boot Glove and glue-on, so as you can see you get the durability of that tread, nice aggressive tread that's suitable for all kinds of environments. And then you get the ease of application and the staying on abilities that are so well known and admired in the Easy Boot Trail. And so we call this, this boot the Easy Boot Glove Backcountry. It's really a, a trail and a glove combined in one. Uh, and we think it's going to be a very successful boot for you as users. So looking a little more closely at the boot, as I said, it's a, it's a glove base or a glue-on base actually without the gaiter that we see on the glove. We built a gaiter especially for this boot. I folded it right down in preparation for putting the boot on, right down flush to the top of the boot shell here. And that's really key to putting this boot on successfully. By getting that gaiter right out of the way of the heel bulb as it comes down, you're going to avoid getting any folds or creases in to that sensitive area in the, hoof, in the heel bulb. Um, so I folded the Cordura upper all the way to the front so that I can get that foot in nice and, nice and easily. So to the horse, I'm going to lift the leg. And I like to start just by putting the toe and the beginning of the quarters into the boot and nothing more. And then I come to the front of the horse and I just support that joint with my knees. And that way I can gently ease and twist that boot on a little bit, making sure that it's centered. Feels like it's slipped on nicely. I'm going to pull that gaiter up. And again, key here with this gaiter, make sure that when you pull it up there are no folds or creases, that it's not sitting in front of the boot shell and behind that heel bulb. That looks nice, nice and flush. Put the foot down in order to apply the Cordura upper three-part process. I'm going to take it as tightly as I can behind, making sure that there's a nice flush fit here around the quarters. That's on the outside. I do the inside. Again, check to see if the quarters are flush. Two. Number three is that final hook and loop attachment. And as you can see, what we've got here is a much more form-fitting boot than the Easy Boot Trail, with all of the benefits that we have in the Easy Boot Glove in terms of sizing and fit. So we've got a nice um, soft upper here that comes around above the coronet band, prevents a lot of debris from getting into the boot. We've got a nice flush fit all the way around the back, and it's lightweight. So fit, obviously very important. Even though this boot is going to be more forgiving than, say, the glove, for fit because of this Cordura upper. It's still important to size these boots correctly. What you really want to do is uh, order the fit kit. Um, it's a very inexpensive uh, insurance, if you will, to make sure that the boots are going to fit properly. You get three boot shells in the um, size range of the measurements that you provide to us. And you, you make sure with that fit kit that the size is going to be as, as optimal as it po can possibly be for your horse's feet. So once you've determined the size of the fit kit, you order the Easy Boot Glove backcountry sizes that you need for your horse. And I think what you'll find with this boot is that it's going to stay on no matter what the shape and angle is of your horse's particular feet. So for horses that have very, very, very steep angles or very, very low angles where perhaps the Easy Boot Glove hasn't been as optimal a fit as it could be, I think you're going to have a lot of success with this boot and it's going to be very durable. I think you're going to have a lot of successful booted miles. All of the components of the Easy Boot Glove Backcountry and the Easy Boot Glove are interchangeable. And so you can actually remove this upper Cordura upper by um, undoing these screws here um, and turn it into essentially what is a, what is a glue-on shell. If you remove the gaiter, it becomes a glue-on shell. You can simply attach a glove gaiter to the existing shell and turn it into a glove. And so depending on the horses that you're using, depending on the application that you have, depending on the kind of miles that you're riding, and depending on the shape of your horse's feet and the evolution of, of, the, of the trim that you're working on, um, you can really adapt these boots to be very, very flexible.